Hi, this is Massimiliano Pagliara. Welcome to my studio. I'm here and I'm gonna show you some of my favorite toys since I was just playing on my SH-101, which is the very first synth that I bought back in 2006 when I started uh, with music production. And um, I actually had no clue, no idea what a synth was and what you can do with that until my dear friend Danny Wang showed me this guy and I immediately fell in love with it. I especially really loved the very straightforward and simple layout and design. When I decided to make music, I went and on eBay basically and uh, looked for uh, machines and this is the very first one I, I bought followed by some other guys that you can see here um, for example the Juno 106 which was my first uh, polysynth and both of them I've had since the very beginning and I use them pretty much all the time. Uh, you can hear Juno bass lines pretty much in every other track that I did um, until today. Um, and I also really love this guy for um, pads and string pads. So yeah, really beautiful, warm, lush pads that you can hear also um, pretty much in every <laughs> track that I do because I love pads. Um, then you can see some more Roland um, stuff here. Obviously the 808, um, that is also, I would say, my all-time favorite drum machine and I've used in a lot of my tracks. Um, if I had to run away here suddenly and I had to pick two machines, I would definitely take the 808 and my Juno 106 because, um, yeah, actually I can do pretty much all I need to do just using these two machines. We have the Jupiter 4 which is the only Jupiter I have. I wish I had the Jupiter 8, but unfortunately that is way too late now. <laughs> if you're lucky to find one on eBay, it's I think something like 30,000 euros. Uh, you can buy a house. And what I really like about, about this Jupiter is that it has this really special filter. It's this kind of really 70s, pristine synth filter that it's not very easy or common to find on other machines. Another um, synth that I really love is the Monopoly, which is an interesting synth, has four VCOs and um, I use this also specifically or more specifically for arpeggios. The fact that you can tune each VCO um, in a different octave and choose a different waveform, um, you can achieve some very interesting polyrhythmic arpeggio sounds.
So now we have all the four VCOs together in a up and down two octave arpeggios. And each VCO is a different waveform and a different octave. Right below it, we have the Poly 6, which I've also had for a very long time, pretty much since the very beginning. Um, I remember when I got this one from, also from eBay, it arrived here and it was in a really miserable condition. I didn't get a really good deal with this and I was of course really upset, but that's how it is when you are crazy about old machines. <laughs> um, they can give you lots of problems. Um, so yeah, I had to fix this many times, but I always did because I love it so much. In fact, in my new album, um, the track that I did together with uh, In It, which is called Halftime Dreams, um, I played lots of chords uh, from this machine, the Poly 6, and at that time uh, the volume knob had some um, weird distortion thing, so I didn't fix it, I used that as a special effect. <laughs> So, um, and you can hear that in my new track with in it. Then of course we have this little beast here, um, which is the mini MOOC. And um, yeah, this is something that of course I've been using also mostly for bass lines. And I mean, that MOOC bass, you know, doesn't need much of the script. Yeah, love it. Very essential, also amazing, simple, straightforward layout. And it feels like a spaceship really it's so solid and it's just really a pleasure to play this machine and i always have lots of fun um, and then we can move over here and this is also another little baby So yeah, this is the Prophet 5, um, which I've also had for a very long time and used a lot in my productions. It's one of the sexiest polysynths ever made, I think. I love the design, I love to touch this thing. And actually I used to have the old one, um, but then I sold it and um, by mistake and then bought the new Prophet 6 that um, Dave Smith issued a few years ago and then when I saw that they reissued the Prophet 5 and the Prophet 10 I sold that again and I bought the Prophet 5 again so um, yeah I'm happy to have the new edition now uh, because the keyboard actually is much better with this after touch and velocity sensitive and semi-weighted keyboards so uh, playing these keys is definitely better than the previous old one that I had. Right now we are here in my bedroom <laughs> and where I also have two more listening setups. Uh, this one here is a German manufacturer, Kuche, that actually doesn't exist anymore uh, from the early 80s. This is sort of like my meditation spot. So I 
come back here because um, sometimes my studio is way too uh, busy with all these machines and I need to come down. We can go over there so you can see also my Pioneer HPM 100 loudspeakers. A four-way loudspeakers from the early 70s that I've been looking for a very long time and finally found them in really great condition and I'm very happy and um, this is my DJ setup. So, should you have any further questions about any machines that you see here behind me, do not hesitate. I will be happy to answer them. Just leave them down below and I will try to answer them as fast as possible.